Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited to let you guys know that I received this um, eyeliner stamp from I Met a Beauty and I'm going to be, that's a close up for anybody that wants to know. Um, I'm going to be test trying it today at my job. I'm basically going to be seeing if it is waterproof, smudge proof, and long lasting. Um, that's what the product says it is on the box anyways. So I'm going to be just trying it out and I hope you guys like so far. Funny thing is, I was actually trying to do this video already yesterday, but I couldn't. <laughs> Which is why the plastic is already off of this. Because there was like a white plastic wrapped around it. Anyway, moving along. This is the eyeliner. So one is for the right eye, which is this one. And one is for the left eye, which is this one. And you can tell that because they both, one has an R there for right, and this one has an L for left. You know, take that L. Anyway, so I'm going to be trying this on. Um, it's very easy application. Oh, look at that. It's like, it's like a little stamp. Isn't that fun? I'm going to try and put on this eyeliner now. Fair warning, I um, am not a makeup artist, okay? I only wear like uh, concealer and foundation and powder. Like that's the best I can do. And some lipstick. <laughs> like, anyway, so I'm gonna put this on and see how well it applies. Yeah. I really want this. I also have hooded eyes, so I'm hoping that this actually shows as well. Oh my god. Oh my god, do you guys see that? That's crazy. That went on so fast. Just one little like dappity dap. But what's funny, <laughs> if you look, Do you see the gap? Do you see the gap there? Oh my god, my hooded eyes are ridiculous. And the uh, um the makeup mirror is trying to attack me. <laughs> I'm going to fill it in now. Okay, so that is the first wing. I didn't down. do like an extra long wing mm -hmm. because I'm not that extra. And I don't wear makeup that much, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. So I'm going to do the left eye application. I really, really love how easy it is to apply this and to like make the little wing. This, the stamp itself is great. Just for that wing only. Now, let me see if I can get this side right. Oh my God. Oh my God, look at that. It's not as pointy but it like it came out so easy oh oh no is one is one longer than the, oh no this one's longer than the other one <laughs> okay i'm gonna fix that really quick hold on <laughs> so i actually decided to make this one thicker to match this one hopefully it works i mean yeah, it still looks like this one's a little bit higher, but I'm just trying to see, honestly, if this will last as long as it says and if it is actually smudge free and waterproof. We're just testing it out. It doesn't need to be perfect. And I'm also at work, so I like, I don't need this to be perfect. So I'm just going to like fill in the left eye. Okay, so I tried to make the right one as thick as the left and I ended up smudging like typical girl problems like like pulling my hair off but anyway moving along let's get this off and like put on a new coat here we go again application part two for right eye hopefully it matches the left and I'm done here <laughs> they match Okay, application part three. <laughs> For the right eye, I'm like, I'm shaking. I need to get this right. It's like killing me at this point. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, whatever. I am not reapplying this shit again. Okay, it's on and I think, I think it looks good. Okay. I'm gonna put this back. Okay. It's on. So let's test out if it's smudge proof, like they said. Would you like nothing? Which is pretty good. Nothing. Also pretty good. So I am gonna see how long lasting it is now. I'm going to continue working throughout the day and also continue to show you guys what I'm doing because you know private care jobs like they change. They change, they don't say the same. Yeah. I actually will just be using this a lot more just because the application process is so, so easy and I am horrible at doing wing eyeliners, okay? So yeah, whatever can make my life easier, you know? <laughs> okay guys, as I was saying before, private care is literally changing. It changes every day. Um, every day is not the same routine. Every day is not the same thing. Sometimes he'll be in different rooms. Sometimes I'll be doing other things. Sometimes I'll be doing completely different things. That's not even taking care of the patient. Um, also, I couldn't find the scissors, so I'm using a knife to unbox this thing. Um, which is what I'm doing right now. This is for my patient. I almost killed myself. <laughs> What I'm unboxing right now is a feeding tube pole for my um, for my patient. He is on feeding tube now, so we're trying to get that all set up at home for him. And yeah, so I'm basically reassembling it. This is what I'm doing. <laughs> Look at my itty bitty screwdriver. <laughs> it's so teeny. I feel like a little handyman. I am such a handyman right now with these tools and pieces to put back together. <laughs> so guys, I put my pole together and this is it. This is it all completed. And I'm gonna lift it up, but not too high to hit the ceiling. After finishing the pole, I continue to do my regular work, which is basically flushing the tube every four hours, taking care of my patient, and continuing with my day. I'm here with another update. I just want to let you guys know that it is now 12 p.m. It's lunchtime, basically. And I just wanted to show you guys that the eyeliners are still they're doing really great for a product that I was not so optimistic about and I am amazingly surprised <laughs> that it's lost in this long. Welcome back to another update. So I decided to have lunch outside today. Here I started to do some regular stand-up exercises with my patient. As you can see, this is just to help get blood and circulation going in his legs because he's usually sitting in a recliner or a chair most of the day. So we do these every four or five hours, usually once or twice within your shift. Guys, it literally just started storming here in Florida. Damn, what y'all do to Jesus? <laughs> I 
would also like to say that if it continues to rain like this when I get off work, I am going to walk in the rain and we're gonna see like how waterproof this eyeliner really is. <laughs> but that's only if like I get off and it's still storming. Like I'm not gonna run into shit if I don't have to. As you can see, I'm about to do a transfer. However, I'm not using the ambulation belt because my patient was strong enough to walk over to his chair. I don't recommend doing ambulation without the belt unless if you know how strong your patient is. Hey guys, so I'm about to leave work and it's still raining. It's like drizzling. You guys can't really see it, but like, let's see what happens. Maybe if I look up, it'll just fall on the eyeliner and like damage it. I'm under trees now. Ah oh, man. Okay, the water is not falling on my eye, but like, let's just say this eyeliner is doing great because I'm lit. Look at this. Look at my hands. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I left my keys. <laughs> okay, guys. As I was saying, before I uh, left my keys, now I got them and now I can go home. But I'm just going to say right now that the, this eyeliner is great. Um, I think that I really don't see any type of improvements needed because like, it's really lasting. The only thing that's really left to do is pour like a bucket of water on my face and see if it washes off to test the waterproofness but I think since it survived all day with my sweat and stickiness and this humidity I think it's great and I think it's a good eyeliner also trying to get into my car without paying attention like hello all right guys thank you so much for watching today and I hope you enjoyed this video I will see you guys in the next one and have a nice day